the the workshop that's supposed to be held um oh the workshop yeah the workshop that's supposed to be held on 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 friday at uh, uh cruise stop yeah cruise stop on the mayor's chamber if i if i'm not mistaken that's with friday so um we agreed to say that uh, he will come and also give us a feedback of it. all the stakeholders that were here that way uh, the stakeholders that were there um how are they going to approach uh, the gender-based violence since it is more now in our communities so um i don't know if any of my guests here went and uh, was there any meeting was there any gathering and then did they go and what was happening because i think also it was a launch here or maybe to introduce the uh, introduce our ambassadors yeah uh, the workshop was postponed until further notice um, something came up from the province and we had to attend to that okay yeah. was it gender based or it yeah, was just under, something under ppf uh, it was gender based under yes. ppf yes okay and then so you had to attend yes okay and then uh, um clear communication was it communicated clearly yeah it was with all the stakeholders yeah. with all the stakeholders yes. stakeholders oh okay um because we are hoping uh, the whole plan was around the the contributions of the of the stake of the uh of the stakeholders you know on on to how are we going to approach uh gender based violence in our townships yeah but we are going to have the workshop okay other workshops okay yeah all right uh captain yes mr <laughs> <laughs> yeah um well tonight's show it is I, I don't think it will be constructed guard mm. because of everything was based on the report, on the report. yeah but I, I just want your contributions and what w last week we had a very short time speaking mm. uh, pertaining to the um to this gender-based violence can you uh, please uh, maybe let's go back to introduce yourself to the community and then I mean, let them know what you're doing and then what are the ch uh, challenges um, that you're encountering, especially that relates to gender-based violence. Mm. Um, listeners, I'm a male who captain him from FSW. FSW is an abbreviation, um, a MENA forensic social work. Mm. So basically what forensic social work is about, it's, um, it works under um, 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 the family and children um, um, unit that is FCS, mm. family violence um, and um, 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 sexual crimes related child protection as well. Okay. So um, what we what we normally encounter it's um, um, on, on gender based violence. We we cannot run away from the fact that uh, most of our um, victims um, um, are female. Mm. And as I specified that we, we're working with children and um, the perpetrators um, are also males and adult males. Mm. So that gives um, 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 a, a clear view of um, um, when we talk of this gender-based violence, who are most likely, mm. yeah, I, I think I put it well if I'm saying who are most likely. I'm mm. not saying they are all together with it. It's only this particular gender that is a perpetrating, um, I mean, who are perpetrating the, um, the uh, violence against um, um, the other gender. Mm. But it's basically um, the state says that more females are, are, are complainants when it comes to the issue of gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. one of the things that we, we, we normally like to encourage, especially from our side, uh, working with children, is... Um, Having matters for this that um about by dealing I is kaya. You understand? Because mm. now we have to understand which is each gender based violence it's a crime in South Africa mm. and it needs to be dealt with as such. And that includes involving the authorities which is um, um your social development mm. and uh, also the subs and also NPA of um, um, for prose uh, prosecution. So the challenges that we have is that 
there are children that um, may come out, but th- there's no one to, to trust them. Mm. There's no one to believe them. Believe because, them, yeah. Because uh, maybe the perpetrator is well known. The perpetrator is a breadwinner in the family. The perpetrator is more important in the community. Then um, why 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 do you accuse such a person? Mm. Mm. And and that makes Abantuana they end up not trusting anyone. Should this thing happen again or to other to somebody else, maybe a friend, they can't even come out because nobody wants to listen to them mm. nobody believes them and if they know about it um they don't show the support that is needed and which is here obviously from from subside we 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 we, we are encouraging the issue of reporting the matters to to the authorities okay and and then um when let's say for instance you 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 have an incident whereby a child a, a child Maybe supported by the parent uh, to come and and Bazo uh, Bazo show to this something happened. You know, um, do they have a secrecy? Is there anyone allocated to deal with such? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Fully. Um, our our members are highly um um um, um, um trained. trained. On okay. That. Okay. Yeah, because now remember that when you work with children, obviously you want to be sensitive because they are children, and you need a space that is not gonna um, 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 inflict another pain or let me say secondary trauma mm. to the child. So you need an environment that is child friendly, an environment where a child can be able to to talk, and also the parent who is supporting to the child mm. also um, um, having to be supported from our side as well. Okay. But in most of the time, like common, like okay, let not let me not use the name, the word common. Uh, I'm a case cases that you receive uh, in in a week or on monthly basis. What is the rate in there? Um, I, I, I wouldn't have the because now we're we talking about yeah, yeah. because now we are one unit and there's other units in the province mm, as well. Mm. But. Um, from my side, because now remember when they open cases, then they send the, the, um, the cases to, to me as a forensic social worker. Mm. Um, um, normally, normally you find like um, 60 cases in a month. Yes, in a month. That sure. I'm, I'm, I'm reported. I reported to you. Yes. And now I'm, I'm, I'm talking about only children. Yeah. That needs to be assessed. Yes. We, we don't talk women. We, talk we don't take women, we talk children. children. Yes. And and that is sixty times, uh, times twelve is seven hundred and twenty. Yeah, that's um, yeah, that's seven hundred and twenty cases of children or repo- reported cases of, of children in a year, in and a and it's just your cluster. It's just the, yeah, just the cluster, and that that's that's I'm giving you an av- average. Yeah, average, yeah. average, yeah. Average, yes. So it can be more, it can be less. Sure. Yeah. And. The, yeah. the, these are the reported reported cases. Yeah, yeah. unreported cases. Mm. So we explain that this, this and and this these ones actually are bold to say, you know what, Masambi, uh, you know, we need they to report support. these, and then they support for mm. that, and and so forth. Yo, mm. no, that that's that's it. That's it. Let's go back to say. Um. Okay, we 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 talk in most cases we're talking a child being sexually abused and an assault mm. As, assault cases and how severe are those um, for this um, we we seeing children from the age three and um, up to up to 17 so you you will just you'll just imagine how severe they are because a, any a, a child is a child mm. you understand so if there's any um, um, kind of um, sexual uh, in, in, uh, um, I mean, in intercourse between the, in adults and the child that's on its own it's just something else so the cases are very much severe because um, um, you will find that in a, in a month you, you're mostly likely to, to, to have like 90% are strictly and you find that maybe there are few of those that are sexual assault and common assault and um, Physical abuse related, but mostly it's um, sexual offenses. Okay. 
And, and Figide, I'm sorry to take you back, but I think um, it will be relevant if I ask this question. Because of you find um, a Kodwen, a, a you find children being forgetful. You know, they're forgetful about things that they've learned. And then, is there any chance maybe such children are going through somehow, or as, 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 uh, I mean, go through um, abuse of some sort? Yeah, I, I was a very confused child at school. I remember clearly that I was I was very confused, especially when I started one, started two. Mm. Um, that is grade three and grade four for now. Yeah, grade three. Yeah, let's talk this language. Yeah. <laughs> grade three and grade four. I was very confused, and uh, there is a teacher who picked up something. Uh, it's just the teacher couldn't put. He, her finger to the problem. Mm. So wabi zaba zaliban, wabi zuma no one because when you tell me mama no koko, wabi zuma mama no koko am. Guti but um, umta na lona, kuna jana na kundi and waba interview, you know. But because anzana da kala luma ama no koko, anzana kuwa kuwa like that meeting was not fruitful because eka bebe as guti no. Mm. Yeah, I understand. So, yes. Mm. And then, do you think, again, we're thinking of different solutions in the matter. Mm. Do you think if, if in each and every school, um, because I, I don't think we uh, having an office, maybe a social worker coming to the school uh, once after a while, maybe once in a week or twice in a week, or maybe once in a in a month, uh, it doesn't make a uh, great impact because of they come for two hours or mm. one hour, and then there's a teacher that is allocated to observe certain things, and then they can be able to report, and then that's when they be able to be proactive, or maybe they can be able to pick up or to okay, look on a on a mm -hmm. problem so that we can deal with. Um, m m I'm thinking at the back of my mind, if each and every school can can have an office of a social worker. Will that maybe uh, a case you attend a speed? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking, mm -hmm. right? Even if it, because we've got so many schools, and yes, we've got so many social workers as well that can be able to be part of of, of the education system. And I know in the education they are um, linked to the um, social workers and also the Department of Health. Mm -hmm. You see, but do you think? Do you think if we can if we can have a a, a social worker at school. at school to have an office or a chair of a social worker who will be there Monday to Friday as a a as a staff so at school. The school yeah working at the school. And not only to stop the sexual abuse, but the sooner umdana a counseling, a go through a therapy, that helps the child quicker. Because now, if you talk about something that happened una eight years and then you take a guy or una you understand. So it, it won't only help um, to stop the physical sexual abuse, but also the, 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 the psychological state and the emotional state. We have done it apology much quicker. Yeah, to, to add on that, I, I think it is very much important. Number of There are a number of cases that are coming um, 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 when the chat is closed to a professional counsel. And um, it, it gets easier for them because now, um, well, when you create a culture of talking, a culture of you know professional counseling and intervention, mm. it makes it for children to actually disclose. You'll find that um, um, a teacher may pick up something from from um, uh, the, the child, but could not, could not really really speak to the child until um, uh, maybe usher the child to disclosure. Because at the end of the day, you need the child to disclose what is 